Isn't he just adorable? Oh! Little rascal. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about something that used to be a pretty big deal back in the day. After the release of Jurassic Park 3, the franchise kind of went dormant for a very, very long time. Apart from the odd video game here and there, we wouldn't get anything Jurassic related of any substance until that film's 10th anniversary with the release of the Telltale game and some comics. But way before that came out, there was actually a pretty cool Jurassic Park experience that kids would have the privilege of visiting in Asia. This attraction was known as the Jurassic Park Institute, and it was basically an educational dinosaur tour that helped children learn about dinosaurs with the help of some Jurassic Park animatronics. Now, over here in the Western world, some of you will probably remember the website of the same name that used to be up and running from 2001 to 2006. This was a place where educational dinosaur information was easily accessible for fans of the films. Alongside it happened to be a small collection of books, including the JP Institute Dinosaur Field Guide. Putting these two together gave you a lot of dinosaur education in the form of real paleontology and colorful images as well. Little did most of us know that over in Japan and Korea, a full Jurassic display that incorporated a ton of animatronic effects and live actors was used in the JP Institute tour. The way this worked was for kids to file in with adults and begin learning about the dinosaurs in a fictional engine setting. You'd go through the Jurassic Park hatcheries, get sneezed on by a giant Brachiosaurus, and even watch a wounded Stegosaurus get medical treatment from JP scientists. The goal of the show was to teach children some fundamental basics about the animals with a Jurassic Park paint job used to seal the deal. Paleontologists Robert Backer and James Kirkland even worked with the Institute in order to develop an educational curriculum that was integrated into the 60-minute walkthrough show. This featured around 20 different animatronic dinosaurs and a ton of cool scenarios you could take part in. Pachycephalosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Compsognathus, Triceratops, and Ankylosaurus were all a part of the tour during the more peaceful scenes. But once you started getting to the end of the experience, kids would get to see animals like the Pteranodon and Velociraptors. These raptors happened to maintain their look from JP3, and they even shared the stage with a new fluffy raptor that helped hammer home the dinosaur and bird relationship as well. Of course, it wouldn't be Jurassic Park without the famous T-Rex making an appearance. But there was also a surprise attack by the legendary Spinosaurus too. Altogether, the JP Institute tour was basically a more engaging version of something like the Jurassic World exhibition that would come out far later. The older Institute one had a lot more emphasis on the JP3 side of the franchise though. They even kept the lowercase g. Unfortunately, Jurassic Park Institute has kind of been all but forgotten in the years since it first came out. The website closed down in 2006 with no real explanation as to why this happened, and ever since then it just kind of became a thing of the past. It is still possible to access the site via the Wayback Machine, and a link will be provided in the description down below if you're interested in checking it out. Personally, I only knew of the JP Institute through this site and a few books that they made. I never got to go on the tour because I've never been to Japan or Korea. That being said, I would have loved to have experienced this thing back in 2001, and I'm sure it would have been an awesome experience for a ton of people back in the day. Pretty soon, we're going to have the new Jurassic World live tour to check out, and since I've missed so much of the older Jurassic shows and experiences, I'm definitely not going to miss this when it goes public. But what do all of you guys think about the Jurassic Park Institute tour? Did any of you ever go on the walkthrough show, or did you just know about the website that was up way back in the 2000s? It's crazy to learn that there was so much cool Jurassic classic stuff in other countries that I wasn't even aware of back in the day. But I'm sure it's like that for a ton of us in retrospect. Now whatever your own thoughts and opinions may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that all of you continue to watch my videos, and I never want any of you to forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. See you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.